All right, the most famous odd couple absolutely teamed up again, but this time they're in a new a revival of a, of a show called um, The Three Men on a Horse. As I recall, this is a very funny comedy. Originally done in the 30s? I think so, yeah. Anyway, they're appearing on Broadway, and uh, there's some previews right now. We'll be opening soon. Here they are, Mr. Tony Randall and Jack Klugman, everybody. You guys would do a little wow, bit. Wow, you mean, look great. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Doesn't he? He's you, adorable. He's just good together. Uh, sit, sit. How many push-ups can you do? Oh. Oh, is this a challenge? Well, I'm just, uh, oh. just asking. You. How many push-ups can I do? Yeah. Quite a few. Well, let's say uh, consecutive push-ups. Yeah. Forty. Fifty? Are you talking one what? arm? One armed or two? One. He's got one arm? No. Oh, uh, one arm, I can you, do sixty. <laughs> you can do forty push-ups. I think so. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> now, if I do 40, will you do 40? I can always do one more than anyone else. Is he kidding, Jack? No, no he's right. No, no, come on. <laughs> you are kidding, right? No. I'm watching push-ups. Are you kidding or not? No. Because I never know when he's kidding. No, he's a great push-up artist. <laughs> <laughs> he's a great put-on artist. Do you, do you want to... If, if you do 40, I'll do we 40. We never thought of you what as the you athletic spend? type, Tony. I know, but I'm in almost superhumanly strong. <laughs> Well, uh... <laughs> it's just something I have. The only exercise yeah. I ever see you getting, and it's always on Park Avenue. For some reason, I always see you on Park Avenue hailing cabs. Do you? And you have an excellent gesture for hailing a cab. Very grand, I would imagine. Yes, yes. very grand. Like it's your chariot coming. Wasn't me. I, uh, <laughs> I live on the west side. I know. Yeah. I just happened to see you two weeks ago on Park trying to get a taxi. Yeah. So how does it feel? Here they are, the odd couple reunited one more time. And you guys look like you haven't changed at all in the last 20 years. We haven't. We said we were nice. Yeah? They kept us the nice for 20 years. Come back <laughs> and do nice. <laughs> what do you call that? Cry Cry on it. Cry on it. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. Now it's three men and a horse. And yeah. uh, as Kathy said, this is a comedy from 30s, 40s? 1935. It's the first play I ever saw on Broadway. Really? Yes. Do you remember who was in it? Sam Levine and Shirley Booth. Oh, my God. Yes. That's great. Man. And it, it, I thought it was marvelous. And it's become an American classic. And in, in our theater, the National Actors Theater, we, we revive classics. Mm -hmm. George we, Abbott co-authored it. He's 106 years old alive today. I, I know he is. Oh yes, indeed. He's a I had dinner man. with him uh, about six weeks ago. Uh-huh. Yeah. And George is feeling good and strong about this? <laughs> He's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I asked him to come to rehearsal, and he said, Tony, I'm an old man. <laughs> And 106. And so everybody wants to know how you're feeling, Jack. I feel better than I have felt in years and years. I'm on no medication at all. Uh, the operation was a success. The doctor said I'm no longer in remission. I'm cured. There are seven million of them. Can you believe that? Cure. Seven. Wow. Early detection. I, I go around, I speak at cancer groups and everything. There are seven million of us that are survivors. Mm -hmm. Early detection is the answer. Yes, Almost any cancer, if you catch it early. You can work on it. But two years ago, you, you were speaking in whisper. like a whisper. Couldn't whisper. Yeah. And uh, then he, and he called me and said, you want to do the odd cup? I said, Tony, I can't even talk to you on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about getting on the street. You can do it. He said, you can. He's this way. See, if you don't mention something, it doesn't exist. This said, he said, if you don't mention the gorilla going up to the side of the building holding the broad, they won't see it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way he is. Huh? In other words, he wouldn't take no. No. And then I worked with this guy, Gary Catone, and then he built my voice up. Uh -huh. I called him, I'll take a shot at it. Oh, he said, okay. You. But because I had microphones in my ear. Or my... <laughs> <laughs> but they work. They, they work, work, sure. They work. And you did Odd Couple uh, last week or two weeks ago out in L.A. I yes, saw that on yes. Entertainment Tonight. That, that was um, a benefit for the National Actors Theater. Uh -huh. And we did it last year. And then we did a burlesque show last September. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, we did all the old sketches. He, he's back. He's working as much as Funny, funny show. And close to yeah. your heart. Yeah. Talk about typecasting. A guy who bets on the horses and loses all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I wonder who horses? that is. You have 90? I got rid of him. I got about uh, 14 now. I sold about 50 or 60. Boy, that's a lot of mouths to feed, Jack. Ooh, they're like rabbits. They 
<laughs> Regis used to have part ownership in a horse, yeah. and it was named Run for Regis, but he used to call it Eat for Regis. Because that's oh, all it did. Right? that part. I have the other half. <laughs> and, and what about you? Do you have any temptation to be a horse owner? <laughs> I can't think of anything to say about that. No, I don't like horses. Uh, I don't like cats. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't like cats. Yeah, I, uh, I like uh, girls. <laughs> well, now tell me about your roles. Who, who is the horse player in the Three Men on a Horse? He's the horse player. Uh -huh. And you're the picker. No, I'm, I'm a, a greeting card poet. Well, yes. But you're able to pick the winner. Infallibly. Uh -huh. As a hobby, he picks horses, mm -hmm. and he never misses. Wow. And so, naturally, <laughs> farce being what it is, he falls into the clutches of a horse player. Uh-huh. It's, it's very it's funny. really funny. Isn't yeah. Because I thought, well, today, you know, like Neil Simon, it's laugh, 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 laugh. When you read this, you think, here's a long time between laughs. But when you play it, mm -hmm. it comes to life, and the audience has a ball. It really is a, it's a fairy tale, but it's funny as heck. And how does it feel to be on your own boards there? Is I'm, on, I'm also on the board of the theater. <laughs> yes. You found Absolutely. it. You're being well, much is, too yes, kind. This is no, like well, your baby. Yes. Well, I didn't do it all by myself. There's Laura Pels and Suzanne Wright and Bert Manning and Jay Walter Thompson. A lot of people helped me. But it's nice to come home, right? Yeah, oh, well, this is you my life from now on. Yeah. Do my governments couldn't do it. The government couldn't do it. <laughs> That's right. It. That's it's right. Happened. It takes one guy years. to get in there and make it happen. Yeah. 15 years. And I well remember being at the Russian Tea Room a couple years ago, and there was Marty Sheen. Mm -hmm. And you were huddling in a corner, and Marty came over to say hello, and I said, what's going on over there? And he said, uh, Jack is going to, you know, open a theater. Tony is. Tony. Tony is. Yeah. Tony. That, he's Jack's Jack. going to open right. a yeah. <laughs> Tony's going to open a theater, and sure enough, you yeah. made it happen. He opened our first show, The Crucible, last That's year. Right. This year we did uh, Chekhov, The Seagull, and we did St. Joan. I was terrifically proud of mm -hmm. St. Joan with Mary Ann Plunkett. And our third show is Three Men on Three the Horse, an horse. American classic. All right, right now at the Lyceum Theater, yeah. here on Broadway. Do you like that? Is that a jury? No, that's the audience. Is that a jury? Oh, that's a jury, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we've actually caught a... That's a jury. The kitchen people. Kitchen. All right, we'll be right back.